Hey, how's it going everyone? And welcome back to Dividend Compounders with Cheese. Today we are going to talk about Domino's Pizza, ticker symbol DPZ. Sure, it's not New York style or even Chicago, but quite frankly, it's my most favorite pizza place. The same reason why I like Olive Garden. I know that it's not real Italian, but it's delicious. I like Domino's Pizza and I like Domino's food. So it made me curious and a part of me wanted to research the company to see if it's actually good or not. So in this video, we are going to look at the intangibles, the finances, and run some valuation models to determine if it's a delicious or a disgusting dividend stock. When it comes to food stocks, everybody talks about Chipotle, Starbucks, McDonald's, and now recently Texas Roadhouse. They get all the attention. But Domino's Pizza is a quiet goat. Now Domino's is a takeout pizza restaurant chain that is absolutely affordable for students and for anybody. What differentiates them is that they are consistently good and because of their price. When I think about Pizza Hut, when I grew up in the 90s, Pizza Hut was that pizza chain. But as of recently, I just feel like Pizza Hut went downhill. It just doesn't hit the same. And one reason why Domino's tastes consistently good is because of their supply chain infrastructure. Delivering every single morning pre-made ingredients. That way, no matter if it's in Atlanta or Sacramento, it'll taste the same. The same Domino's pizza that you want. So something unusual about me is that I am a gym rat. I tend to work out every single day. However, one of my more guilty cheat meals is a box of Domino's pizza. And if I am ever on a road trip and I do not know if I want to try out the local cuisine or food, the first thing that I do on Yelp is to try and look up a Domino's. That way I can have some comfort food regardless of the 500 miles that I drove that day. And another call out that I want to make about Domino's is that they are doing innovative things like using robots to deliver pizza in urban cities. They partnered with Nero to make this happen. Also, if you've ever ordered a pizza online from Domino's, they actually show you a step-by-step -step progress picture of your pizza. Like, it's like a little tracker, like, hey, we're making it right now. Hey, it's in the oven right now. Hey, it'll be ready in five minutes. Pretty cool stuff. Anyways, this channel is focused on dividend compounders. So let's go ahead and check out their dividend over the years. So back in 2013, Domino's paid 80 cents per Per share. And fast forward throughout the years, consistently, they have been increasing their dividend year over year. This is phenomenal. Last year, they paid $4.40 per share. 2013, 80 cents. 2022, $4.40. This is amazing. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the dividend profile. Okay, so their payout ratio is 33%, which is really healthy. Their dividend growth is double digits at 10%. However, this is the only thing that's kind of making me hesitant. 1.27% dividend yield. And that's because their share price has just been on a roar. It was previously 200 and $78 in 2019. It is now currently trading at 380. During the pandemic, it did reach a high of $564. I think the share price is outpacing its dividend growth rate. So very recently, Domino's reported their Q3 earnings and Domino's actually crushed the EPS expectations, but fell slightly short of the revenue estimation because the US same store sales declined by 0.6%. And unfortunately, they have exited the Russian market altogether which explains missing the bottom line. However, the international market is booming because they saw a 9.8% growth overseas and they opened 108 stores internationally. That's the too long didn't read. Next, we are going to look at the shares outstanding to see if Domino's is issuing more shares and diluting the shareholders or are they buying back shares. So after the Great Recession in 2011, there were 63 million shares outstanding. However, after that, Domino's decided to buy back shares shares at a very healthy pace. And it looks like if you fast forward to today, there is roughly 35 million shares outstanding. So it looks like from their high, they did buy back about 30 million shares. Domino's has effectively decreased the shares outstanding by 50%. This is amazing. Next, we are going to take a look at the sentiment among the management team. What are they doing with their shares? As of recently in November, it does look like some of the top brass. It does look like they're selling their shares. However, what is coming 
comforting is the CEO is buying shares. And it does look like he bought 3,333 shares when it was trading at $303. Next, we are going to take a deeper look at the technical indicators and see what the stock price movement has to say. As of recently, it does look like investors are piling into DPZ because the RSI is currently at 65 and it has hit its upper Bollinger Band, the line of resistance. So the sentiment around dominoes right now is very bullish. All right, now my most favorite part of the video. We are going to run some valuation models together to find the intrinsic value for dominoes and then we're going to compare that to what the Wall Street analysts think the price target should be. So the first valuation model we are going to do is the multiples valuation. Essentially, we are going to compare dominoes to similar companies in the same industry as dominoes is so that we can derive a market value for dominoes. So the companies that I chose were Chipotle, McDonald's, Wingstop, Yum Brands, which is the parent company of Pizza Hut and Taco Bell, and Papa John's. The median PE ratio is 28. And from this data, we've reached an intrinsic value for dominoes, $416.74. Hold on, that sounds a little high. Is that within its 52-week trading range? Absolutely. And then, of course, in the pandemic, Domino's was trading at about like $560. Okay, with that said, we are going to move on to the next valuation model. It is going to be the discounted cash flow analysis. Essentially, we are going to look at the free cash flow growth year over year to determine the future intrinsic value for Domino's. And it does look like for the past six years or so, the average growth rate for the free cash Cash flow has been sitting at about 12.42%. However, I am going to shave off that 0.42% and plug in that simple 12%. With that, we are going to plug in some balance sheet numbers, which is going to spit out the DCF price of $171.41 for Domino's. Next, we are going to look at the dividend discount model. Essentially, we are going to reach an intrinsic value based on its average dividend growth rate. So the average dividend growth rate for Domino's is sitting at 16.88%. This is absolutely amazing. Back in 2019, they paid $2.60 per share. Fast forward to today and they pay $4.84 per share. This is amazing. However, I want to be concerned conservative and be safe. That's why we're going to divide this by two and even minus another point. And so we're going to plug in 7% into the formula, which gives us an intrinsic value for dominoes of $517.88. The last one, you might as well call it the bear valuation model, but it's going to be the Graham's valuation model. Essentially, by looking at the growth rate projection and the current AAA corporate bonds yield rate, we reach an intrinsic value. With that said, the Graham's valuation for Domino's, $236.48. It actually sounds a lot higher than I thought it would be. Wonderful. So now we have reached the conclusion. After running through all of these valuation models together, what is the intrinsic value for Domino's? Drum roll, please. It is going to be... $335.63. Well, hold on. What do the Wall Street analysts say? Wall Street says that Domino's should be trading at about $400.62, which is a 4.82% upside to its current trading price. And remember the technical indicators? It does look like investors are piling into Domino's, and that's why the sentiment is a moderate buy. The low forecast is a $315 price target. The high is $465. So it looks like I'm kind of near that low forecast, but but that's also because I used conservative numbers. So Wall Street says 400, we say 335. Its current trading price is around $382. So let's try to figure out what is the appropriate buying price for Domino's. With a 10% margin of safety to the intrinsic value of $335, your buying price is going to be $302.06, which is very similar to what the CEO bought 3,333 shares of Domino's for. So as you can see from this model, it does look like Domino's is overvalued right now. However, that does not mean that it's a bad stock. I do think that Domino's is a delicious dividend determination. However, because it is overvalued, I probably won't buy any right now. But with that said, I do want to be mindful of the phrase that it's better to buy a wonderful company at a fair price than it is to buy a fair company at a 
wonderful price. And in the case of Domino's, it does look like it's a fantastic, well-run machine. But right now, it is currently trading at the same valuations as Microsoft or Apple. And because of that, I do think there are other better buying opportunities in the market right now where some companies are very undervalued. But please don't take my word for it. If you really like Domino's and you feel like they are a company that is worth $500 per share, then do your own due diligence and research to figure out if it is in fact a company that is worth $500 per share. My closing remarks, I really like Domino's. However, at its current trading price, I don't think I'm going to buy any right now. But because we looked at the data together and the finances and everything, Domino's is amazing. So if Domino's does reach around that $302 price range, I probably will start monitoring it and trying to figure out whether or not to jump in. Anyways, the too long didn't read is that Domino's is a wonderful, delicious dividend company, but it is overvalued right now in my personal opinion. This has been another episode of Dividend Compounders with Cheese signing out. Stay safe and I will talk to you next time.